New York is preparing for an unprecedented show at the Madison Square Gardens tonight. Uh, let me now uh, take you uh, to New York itself, uh, where uh, managing editor TV Today group uh, Rahul Kamal is standing by. Rahul, over to you. Uh, thank you very much, Ankit. We're here live at our special studios at the Madison Square Garden and preparations currently on. This is one of the most high-tech, most futuristic sporting arenas anywhere in the world. The biggest boxing bouts, the best rock concerts all happen here. And like my camera person, Kitval, because this is really the first time we're giving our viewers a sense of what this Madison Square Garden Arena is all about. And this is what the fuss has been about over the last several days. Those young girls practicing their dance moves, uh, preparations, tech checks going on. And as I was coming into Madison Square Garden, right outside Penn Station, one of the busiest railway junctions of New York, there is a huge, huge crowd of Indians coming from Well, uh, we, there is some technical uh, difficulty there. Uh, we will try and get back uh, to Rahul as soon as uh, we can. But uh, yes, preparations are in full swing as Rahul was uh, giving you an overview before uh, Narendra Modi, the Indian Prime Minister, addresses a strong 18,000 crowd. Uh, Rahul is back with us. Uh, Rahul, uh, as you were telling us about uh, that huge queue you saw outside the busy uh, rail, uh, metro station, Just is it a huge queue, it's also a very colourful queue. This is a big party because you've got Indians uh, of different hues from different parts of the country wearing their costumes and they're all coming in with their tricolours, some of our American flags. Manoj Ladwa is the head of communications here, uh, one of the key organisers of this event. He's joining us on this broadcast this morning. Welcome. Lots of excitement uh, all across in India about this big speech. Give our viewers a sense of the rundown, the plan for the day and how you see the day move. I think first of all, uh, it's important to say that this is a celebration, a celebration of two things. One is the celebration of Mr. Narendra Modi becoming the Prime Minister of India through that historic election campaign. And secondly, a celebration of the diaspora, the Indian community around the world, and in particular in the USA. And so it's a combination of those two great achievements that uh, we're here today. Okay, I'm told that this stage down below uh, rotates. So when Modi is speaking, he's actually rotating every 15 minutes and then makes that speech as he revolves 360 degrees around this arena. Absolutely. Um, one of the biggest challenges we had is that this is a huge stadium, but it's still not big enough for all the people around the United States that wanted to come. How many at the end wanted to come over here? How many invitations? How many requests did you receive? We re received literally uh, tens of thousands of requests, and we're only uh, able to accommodate 18,000 people here. But we've got 450 different organizations with venues around the United States where there are what are called viewing parties, where people will be coming together, communities will be coming together. How many to such it. viewing screens are you setting up? There's at least 150, maybe more than that, are being set up uh, across the country at different university campuses, at places like Intel, uh, and at community halls across the country. That's the kind of stuff that you see usually around a big football final or a T20 final or a World Cup final. We're seeing that for a political speech. Well, you mentioned two words in your introduction. One was high-tech and the other one's futuristic. Everything about Mr. Modi is high-tech and futuristic and therefore we wanted to make sure that the maximum number of people, not only in the United States but around the world, are able to view and listen in to what Mr. Modi has to say. There are a lot of people back home who are watching and some of whom feel, are we all getting a little carried away? Is there too much hype, too much excitement, uh, too much hoopla around this and maybe uh, things are going overboard is the sense in some quarters. Well, let's look at it this way. How many world leaders could come into Madison Square Gardens and fill it up? Probably he would be able to fill it up five times over. There is a lot of excitement and so what? India is a country of celebration and for at last we have a leader who we can celebrate and that's what this is all about. Okay, and that's very important. The fact that uh, this has never been done by any world leader before this. No Japanese, no Chinese, no German, no French world leader has ever come here 
because this by American standards is a huge arena. In India, you've got, for example, at the Patna rally where we were, the Hunka rally before the election campaign, there were five lakh people. In Bhopal, there were four lakh people. But 18,000 by American standards is a huge, huge crowd. Remember, the Republican and the Democrat convention have between five and 10,000 people. This is almost twice that. And that really is a political statement as well being made by Prime Minister Narendra Modi. And we're live at the Madison Square Garden and we return all through the day right here on Headlines Today.